Every time I try and get this big shed emptied, it ends up full of crap again. So what's happened now, the sister's getting new wardrobes, fitted wardrobes and all put in. They're emptying the whole house. And they're going to dump the old wardrobes. Quite a job for my other shed. So I had to empty the other shed, dump all the crap on here. But I can't get moving again. So I've got to get these other cupboards fitted. Um, the other wee shed, this wee shed over here. Um, so this shed's shed full of stuff I never use. I have a petal generator that's done about um, one or two hours. I definitely haven't done any more than two hours. I've saved probably one hour trying it out. But when it's in the back of the car on a hot day, petal, petal expands when it gets hot. And in order to stop the tank busting, it has a wee uh, release valve to let the fumes out. Your car is full of petal fumes when you're driving on a warm day. So I couldn't use it. So that's why I now use lithium batteries and stuff. You cannot run a petal generator. You need to have a outside in a tow bar somewhere. A uh, wee washing machine was never used. Bought that. I thought maybe uh, go in extended periods, blah blah blah. A wee washing machine would be handy. That's that time I was thinking of buying a van, you know. Thought a wee washing machine, I could carry a wee washing machine in the van. That never happened. Got them on a seal there, and then never been used. Uh, my scooter. I've done about uh, less than 10 hours in that scooter. It's uh, 18 mile an hour, so it's a high powered scooter. Like it's the, the motor is bigger than what's legal, it's the type of thing, but still restricted to 18 mile an hour. It's 500 watt battery, I think it is. Uh, so it's bigger than normal scooters. Brilliant job, like freezing cold. I couldn't, I, I didn't realize how cold it was standing on a scooter. You cannot take your hands off the handlebars, it's not like a bicycle. Take your hands off the handlebars, you fall off. My bicycle will go on ahead, it's nice and straight. There's my bicycle. Love my bicycle. It has a brave age now. And doesn't matter how old it gets, I could pull that bike out and ride it. Nothing rust or seize up on it. It's a very well made bike. I can't fault the bike, but I don't like going cycling and leaving the, the baby pups on their own, like. Just wee learning now, like. So the bike never really gets used. Last time it was used was when I had wee wallow and uh, Shadow. Shadow was getting older and couldn't walk too far. I would leave him in the caravan from time to time and go for a wee cycle around Drum Manor. I have my outboard motor here. That's the second outboard motor. I used to have a speedboat years ago. The speedboat, the speedboat had a big motor. If you go to, you put a throttle on, the speedboat would jump out of the water. It literally jumped out of the water. There's no chance of ever getting a dog on a speedboat. Drank the fuel, couldn't carry it in fuel. So this is a wee four stroke engine here. Uh, you need 10 hours to run them in from brand new. That engine's done nine hours because I was counting the hours. Uh, done about eight hours up and down a scale, one hour on the foil. And uh, that, I had the tank, but I had the wrong clip to get the tank on. It's got its own wee in, own fuel tank inside as a Brevo hole. So it has its own tank and all. And uh, But you don't like filling fuel up when you're on a river. He's chance of getting water in it. And so done a wee bit of splun, how do you fill the fuel up with a jerry can in the foil? And there's a wee bit of spluttering, so I scared the life out of me again, like. But it didn't work out the way I wanted. I got the rubber boat. It's £500 for the rubber boat. That's going back, um... Uh... 16 years ago. It's just 16 years, that engine there, boys. Nine hours, 16 years ago. No, I because I started my last job. I was only in my new, new job three months. When I, I was at, I, I got a, I got a hernia operation. And you know when you're sitting about the house... You think of these stupid ideas. And I thought I'd buy an outboard motor. But what happened then? After the hernia operation, got back to work and then never got used. But when you take a boat under the foil, salt water, it's tidal, and you've got to flush out your engine. The engines are water cooled. And you put, like, that's why the bucket's there. Like, you use a bucket and you put the hose in it. But this thing does away with the bucket. You clamp that on the, the water intake in the bottom of the shaft. Put your garden hose on there, start the hose up, start your engine up, and you flush the water out. So when you see these boys in the foreign and, and you think, oh, that's great, these jet skis and all that. You have all this hassle when you come back. It doesn't matter wiping the outside, you've got to get the rinse out the inside. It's a lot of hassle, like. Uh, the car seats, they're never used. Uh, the compressor fridge. Always wanted a compressor fridge. That one there is about eight months old. Never used. Never used. Uh, I tried it in the car, too big, takes up too much room, put it in the caravan, but the last time I went away in the caravan, I actually pulled out before I went away and put it in the cool box. Because the leg of the cool box, you just drop on a 5 litre bottle of ice, then spring water ice, pre-frozen, 
it's handy for weekend. You, you don't need no power. So much easier. It takes up a lot less room. That there is tight to get under the seat. So it's such that it's never been used. Uh, a brand new basic helmet. The label's still on it, boys. You know, so I still don't buy stuff, man. Kites. I love kites. Always love seeing kites up. I think there's one or two kites there. I have them kites years. Look, we're just there, boys. Look. That has never been out of the pack. They have never been in the pack one cent kites, but I love kites. Someday I'll get the time to fly a kite, you know. If I was flying a kite now, Luna be God knows where she ended up. So this this timber here, this shed's built from, that came from my old work area. For the time I was I was gotten Adria out. So I got all that timber from Adria. This timber here and the timber above was my mother's old shed. We had it demolished. When I moved into my house, my mother's old shed had been knocked down. She was getting an extension put on. So that, all that was been reused. So that them boards there is uh, 25, 30 years old. They've been on her shed a long time. Uh, that cabinet came from Adria. The tent, that wee tent up there was up in my brother's attic for years. But they emptied everything out now, dumped it over here. So uh, I went to Land's End, the John O'Groats and the motorbike, 125. I used to do a lot of touring the motorbike before I got my dogs years ago. And uh, when I never got my dogs then, I can't, I couldn't, the motorbike lay here. I got rid of the bike a couple of years ago. Lay in here, I never used, because I didn't want to use the bike. And leave, I can take the car and take Luna with me. I'm not going to go away on a motorbike and leave Luna in the house by herself. So... The way this wall's built now, there's two by four down there, two by four, but I want to get this shelf right in. I had temporary shelves built here. Same temporary, they've been there a long time. So I got this out water from my sister, and I took the back feet off to get it over, because mice and all go behind, you see. But this top one now is going to hit this beam. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut that out four inches, and cut it back four inches, I'm going to cut the back off. I'll mark it where it's hitting the beam. And I'm just going to cut the top of that. I can't even see this, I stand the stool. But wherever that hits the beam there, that wire up, I'm going to cut that section out. So I can slide it right back. I'll get this flex here and put the flex up there. And I need to cut this section out. That's supporting brackets on the other side, that's why that's on there. There's heavy tools on the other side. That's not. That's actually one board. It's not actually joining the board, it's, it's the width. So I'll just cut this wee section out as well. And I'm not, uh, I'll cut the back out here. I'll keep the back on because the back keeps it square. I'll just cut that section out of the back. It's going to be just for odds and ends and all that. And uh, that's the wee job for the day. Shouldn't take too long. I'll use my wee 12 volt tools. I'm going to get Luna fed now first and then she'll have a wee sleep. And I'll use my wee 12 volt, uh, like a wee 12 volt jigsaw, 12 volt um, re round saw. So I'll use the wee 12 volt tools for that. And hopefully not take too long, but I have to make shelves for it then. So what I'll probably do then for the shelves, I have an old cupboard in my kitchen. It has to come down. It's going to be the new bedroom. I'll cut them and make shelves. Just drill the wee holes to start to be huge. But bringing that crap then in from the other shed into here, ugh, it's going to be a hassle. It's cold. It's always cold. Well, this I get this off my street, don't I? There's my wee range of 12 volt tools now. And my wee tiny saw, I intend doing this with the saw, I think I saw a good job. The 12 volt jigsaw, surprisingly very heavy. Surprising the weights in that. Uh, the wee 12 volt drill, probably not need that. Took the battery out of it. Only have two batteries. So, uh, put the other one on the charger. It's not even turned on, is it not? Is that not plugged in, is it? Why is that not going? Dodgy there, boys. And my sockets there, I never use. Ah. I get a different socket, that thing's never used. I got them my sockets in Adria. I used to work in Adria. There, yeah, we got power now. So that's a lot of sockets on there. I think I have used that before. It must be fault, I don't know. So, uh, <coughs> four by two wood, measured four inches out. I'm going to uh, cut on the wrong side of the line so that there's a wee bit of gap. 
cut up there. I've drawn that line now up here. Just roughly marking it, it's hard to see. I just put a wee mark there. So when I get this down, I'll draw the line four inches across and down the edge. When I'm here now, I'll mark out this button. Then again, sorry, roughly. So I'll mark out where that button is there. So I'll cut a wee bit on the big side. What, now in fact, what I'll do, I'll cut the top first. That'll slide it in. And then I'll get that done more accurately. Less chance of mice getting in. So we'll cut the top off first. It's going to be high me lifting this up and down. Um, measure four inches out. Draw the line from that four inches. And then these two lines join together. And that gives me a wee slope. So I can do all that with that wee round saw. Uh, batteries, I don't know how much charges in this wee round saw. I can, I'll use this wee stool here. And the thing about the wee round saw, it cuts cross corners. A jigsaw would struggle there. You'd have to cut one piece and cut the other piece. This wee bugger here can kick back, you know. So I have to be careful. Uh, I'm just going to go by the wee guide itself. Run up at the blade, just to see how accurate it is. slightly crooked there oh so much for the guide so much for the guide i should go with the other guide there's two guides on this thing ah uh, go again the mouse won't get through that gap Wagger with this foam now, like. Oh, I gotta get <sighs> Shit's full of crap. <laughs> yeah, they cut a wee bit past when you're using a round saw. Let's uh, slay now. It's awkward turning on, you have to push the two buttons. That's awkward, like. <laughs> but bear in mind, it's only for a shed, like. Uh, let's be one now. So the problem is getting that, see how I push that in there, it's way hard. I have our fresh on this finger, I'm trying to use that finger there, and trying to push this in, and the other one, and the weight of the saw. Awkward. It's a wee bit low there, maybe. And the last one, and this foam is getting in the way again. The light's not the best here. See what's happening here now, I'm cutting into this board. So what I have to do here now is um I'll pull that board off, that's what I do. I'm gonna cut in the back piece. I might have to cut a wee bit lower there. She hasn't quite reached there in that corner. So we'll get the persuader now, finish that off. Yeah. If I bust this off here now, I'm gonna break that off. Now that allows the saw now to cut this head at an angle. It's all about technique, isn't it? Now there's all the safety guard now is in the way. It's all the safety stuff. When that saw stops, that's how cutting out is jamming. We blade not spinning. You know the RPMs is very slow. And that's why, it's, so rather than burn out the motor, she just stops, which is a good thing. No need for blusters or nothing like that, like. Don't know how much that cut. Now what I'll do now, I'll mark out exactly now where these buttons are. There's a bit I've cut in the roof. But, uh, so slide on down. Because it's a shed, I don't want to ice about forever with. So, uh, I'll get it roughly done. Uh, what do you mean marker now? Marker. If I was doing this, like a foot of kitchen, use a pencil and you get exactly. Uh, if you're learning DIY, you'd want to do a pencil and get exactly and practice and then you do a real kitchen. 
you won't mess up the real kitchen. Crack this in the like of this. So that's a wee bit low there. See, I left the top of that marker there for two months and it's dried up. And what you can do then, you can scrape that with a scrap piece of wood. You see, if you don't, if you want to go slightly crooked, you haven't got the power to steer. Even the stickers hold this thing back. But, um, it's handy for wee jobs. I'd say that the 20 volt one should be good. I'll do what, I don't have that nail now when I come over the top. So I'll take my time this time. Uh, I'm going slightly low there because the line's very faint. The line's, there's no line there. I'm trying to correct it and she doesn't want to correct. So, so I need to go back and. Where's oh, the battery low? It's shining up red here. Is that the battery, is it? Ah, uh, the battery's low. Oh, it's not these batteries. Change the battery now, see what difference it makes. See right what colour the light does, it was red the last time. So I'll pull this off now. Now I'm going to change over to the wee jigsaw. Where's the jigsaw? Take this battery out of this. Should I have the batteries charged? Like, batteries going all those ages. It's like, oh, do the job, or do the job, or do the job. Yeah. Alright. The wee jigsaw is pretty impressive, jigsaw. Unlike the other one, you can lock it on. But compared to normal jigsaws, it's not fast. It has a speed control on the back of it. So it has. But it won't cut out as much, I don't think. I'll see, anyway. <laughs> Tell you a fault I have with the jigsaw. I'm used to looking at the blade. And you see that safety guard they've on there? I need to pull that off. I can't see the blade right. Um, they all come with that plastic thing, burst and everything. I take them off. and Because I want to see the actual blade was touching. See that wee pan at the front? You're supposed to use that. I like to see the blade. I'll pull that off. I can hear them with two hands. One hand holding on to this wire rope and the other hand with the saw. But I'll bung it on the best I can. See if I can tape it. It's going to be hard for us to turn a corner. So I'm going to aim up at an angle, crook it. And then I'll bring it straight down. I'll switch off first. So the battery's low now. Now it takes about an hour, I think, for the battery to charge. How do I get into that corner there now, like? Oh. Which this art, this foam's gonna be in my way again. Once I cut, I suppose I've got the other one to cut too. That foam was in my way. That's why I bought a foam I had in my old Picasso to sleep on at night. And try carry camping up. I never did carry camp on it, but uh, shadow on this used to lie on us. If you weren't taping, you wouldn't have to do what I'm doing there, like. So I'm not going to... What happened there is, it just dawned on me. That side's joining on the next unit. doesn't matter if that's too big. Because the next unit's going there. It's only the outside ones. The mice can get in. So that's that one done there now. I'm going to flick that round now. and see if it fits. But the wee tools are capable of doing it. About 12 50, 15 pound each. And then your battery. Uh, the fly one now, the batteries. They're making you buy a 20 pound battery. £25 battery they're making you buy. Well, if you bought two of the wheel ones, it would only been £20. But they're not making the wee batteries no more. So the fact they're not making the batteries no more, why are they charging more money per amp? It's a wee bit of a fly one, the pump. So there's wee holes drilled there. Do you know what? She must have had them the other way around her room. There's holes there, and them ones aren't lining up. She must have the big one down that side. But I put the big one here, 
So if there's a lot of crap in the shed and you can't get that door open, you get this one open. Because usually a lot of crap goes in the shed. So that's the first one done there, like. See, I thought that right. Get a screw in the press and all. Get the next one cut now and put it in there, then screw them all together. That'll be a good job there, like. I'm going to cut this next one outside, but see where the cut is hitting the stable. You don't see that, that's on the inside. So I'm going to cut it low. Right now, it's about trying to get a stable out. Um, I, must, I don't know how much charge this is, but half charge probably. I'll light up and I'll tell us. And it's going. I'm going to check the lights. So that's the thin board down there. I'll do the top next. I'm going to stand this through. So definitely there's a bit of charge in it and the thing's steady, it works better. So anybody else would be doing this with two hands. Anybody we saw like this, you can actually plunge it down in the middle. If you had an old finger to hold the guard back. Why is for kickback right enough? But you need to do that when you're doing floorboards and stuff. And so it does work. But see that tells, if I wasn't holding the phone, I'd be holding up in my hand. I'd have it down the ground, I'd have my knee on it. It's just sitting by itself. Which is not ideal, like. But the wee tools himself, it's a handy wee job, like. Now, I don't know what it costs for a new blade for that. A wee blade wouldn't last long. But for wee odd jobs. I left this on the place. Now I'll have to mark now the next button, but I left it on the place and mark the next button. I didn't bother lifting it in and screwing it. I just measured up because that wee button's pretty straight. So I'll tilt this forward now and I'll cut the back piece first. And I'll use a jigsaw like I did the last time. When I start off, see you can start off you're going through this wood here, but the saw just seems to be down and I go to straighten it, she catches. Doesn't want me, I'm trying to push up the way you see. So this time now I'll keep the saw slightly up that way to see what happens. So it works better. As I call the saw sort of probably the weight of the saw more than else. The, the blade the blade's not going quick enough. Uh, didn't measure that we say, but I'll do it roughly, I'll do that with the jigsaw roughly. So the wee saw works perfectly well when the piece is held steady. Handy wee saw that. Definitely worth the money. Not the easiest switch to work. Could be doing with something out a wee bit, you know. Very, very flat. Left us in the place now, and it should work. I don't think there's any job for the wee drill that I There is. I can drill the wee holes here to join them together. Um, I love the wee drill. Twelve pound fifty. Good weight to it. Torque control. Torque control. And no hammer action. Like it's got a light. It's got a battery gauge. What I like about it the best is the chuck pulls off. You pull the chuck comes off and then you can put your your screwdriver bit straight into that and it makes it small. Very very, very light once the chuck's off. The chuck's very heavy. But um, I've had no problems. The weed drill, unlike the saws and the other stuff, I need two hands. Unlike the saws, you know, you know they're 12 volt, you know that they have limitations. This wee drill just works like any other drill. In fact, that lines up there, boys. So that must be pretty close where she had it in her, her room. Uh, 
Put this one in first, don't I? Put the wee boys on. I thought she had them the other way around. No, they were the other way around. So I need to drill this wee hole now. That drill's not too sharp now, but... That drill's blunt. The wee drill's better than that, but that drill... For these things here, get the wee bow underneath now. So them all screwed in now. Um, let them join together. I have to tighten that wee one. Uh, all I have to do now is see if I get some scrap wood for shelves. Hook around the shed, see what I can find. I'll use these wee boys here. You just drill a wee hole and you pop them in. But I have to hook some of them out as well. There might be some on old furniture I've saved. Just have to look for them and find them. Some of them are just be round circles and some are like that. You just draw your four holes. Dead handy so they are. 